What's up, KFG crew and KFG Kings? This your boy, B-Boy Fast on TV. And tonight, I will do my AEW Forbidden Door review, review and highlights. So if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications every time I go live on YouTube and premiere a brand new video. Follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. Let's get started. Now, AEW Forbidden Door, it was a good show, but it was too long. But you do see the thumbnail. Claudio, a.k.a. Cesaro, it's, it's, it's that um, he made his debut at AEW Forbidden Door. You see the thumbnail. All right, cool. Let's read out the match card. We got interim AEW World Championship, John Moxley versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. IWGP Heavyweight Championship, Jay White versus Hangman Adam Page versus Adam Cole versus Kazuchika Okada. Then we got AEW All-Atlantic Championship, Pac versus Miro versus Clark Kent Corn Connors versus Malachi Black. Then the AEW Women's War Champion Donna Rosa versus Tony Storm. Then we got IWGP United States Championship Orange Cassidy versus Will Osprey. The Young Bucks, Matt Jackson, Nick Jackson versus L Plant Tasmo versus Hukalio versus Sting, Darby Allen and Shing Shingo Taki ta Taki Chris Jericho versus Sammy Guerrero versus Manuel Manuel Suzuki versus Eddie Kingston Will Willow Yuta and Shota Umono Umono All right, winner takes uh IWGP ROH World Tag Team Tag Team Title Match FTR versus Cash Wheeler and Dax Harwell versus Rapongi Vice, Trent Beretta, and Rico Romero versus Jeff Cobb and and Gray Ocon. So we got Zach Saber Jr. versus opponent of Brian Danielson Choice. I mean choosing. And we got the um Gun Club, Austin, Austin Gun, Colton Gun, and Billy Gun and Max Castle with a coming by Anthony Bowens versus the DKC, Kevin Knight, Alex, Colin, and Yu Yuya Yimura. Then we got Lance Sanchez versus Nick Camarado. And then we got Shane Swerve Strickland and Keith Lee versus El, El, El Desperado and Yoshi, Yoshi Nubo Camaro. All right. So we got. Then, then we got the first match. Then Taz, I mean Escobar, Taz, and former WWE and Ring of Honor commentator Kevin Kelly welcome the audience to the broadcast of the buy-in portion of the of the pay-per-view streaming on YouTube. So, the, so I already went over the match card already. So we kick it these up with the first match card: the Factory, QT Marshall, and Aaron Aaron Solo versus Yashi. Yo Yoshihashi and Hiku Hiroki Goto. Goto. All right. I must say, this was a good match right here. Hashi and Solo begin the match with um Solo kicking Hashi Aban Abaman. Hashi got a headlock on Solo. Solo hit a drop kick on Hashi. Hashi hits a shoulder tackle on Solo. QT tag in tag into tag into the chagrin ch of Kelly, Kevin Kelly. Goto and QT lock up with QT and Goto exchanging wrist locks before Goto hit a shoulder tackle and chop on the on QT. Solo tag tag in and push Hashi off the paint on the pat try while QT attack Goto Goto from behind. Goto hit a shoulder tackle on QT. Hashi and Goto hit double shoulder tackle on Solo. Goto hip toss Hashi onto Solo. Hashi and Goto hit lightning punches on Solo before hitting punches on Solo back too. QT pulled Goto out of the ring. QT hit the QT special car wheel. Top on Guru on both on both Goto and Hashi. Solo hit a double stomp on Goto for a near fall. Solo and QT hit double back. Elbow on Goto for a near fall. Solo tried to hit a suplex on Goto, 
but Goto hit the vertical suplex on Solo. QT QT mock Goto, but but Goto hit a mean Larry on Solo. Hashi tag in and hit a, hit a chop on QT, followed by a ripcord chop. Hashi hit a back body drop on QT. Hashi closed close line QT in the corner before hitting T head headhunter neck breaker for a near fall. Solo toss Goto out of the ring before hitting a top top con girl on both Hashi and Goto. QT. Went for, for went for the diamond color, diamond cutter, but Hashi pushed him out of the way. QT hit an insecure solo, followed with a kick, followed by a diamond cutter for near fall. QT went for a four fifty splash, but missed Hashi, which Hashi, which Hachi took advantage and hit a low drug kick on Solo. Goto tag in and set up Hachi to hit a super kick on QT. Goto hit hit a Yoshi Goshi on QT. Hachi and Goto, Goto hit a elevated DDT on Solo for the pin for the pinfall win. The winner of the match, Yashi Hachi and Hik, Hikaruki Goto. All right, that was a good match. Let's move on. So we get um Lance Archer versus Ned Camarado. This was a this was a decent match. Lance Archer hit a spring rope cannonball on Camarado before hitting a series of punches on Camarado. Lance Archer hit a big boot on Camarado. Camarado hit a rope assisted neck breaker on Lance Archer before launching himself into Lance Archer, sending him into the Barricade outside the ring. Camarado slammed Lance Archer face into the apron. Camarado hit a high elbow drop on Lance Archer um, for for a one count. Camarado Camarado hit a side back breaker on Lance Archer. Camarado punches Lance Lance Archer's head multiple times, but Lance Archer shook shook the punches off. Camarado went. For, went for a DDT, but Lance Archer reverses it by hitting your range on Camarado. Um, Camarado and Lance Archer exchange strikes before Lance Archer hit two lariats on Camarado. Um, Lance Archer hit a rope walk Musa on Camarado for a near fall. Lance Archer went for the back for the black for the blackout before blackout, but Camarado hit multiple elbow strikes before hitting a running power slam on Lance Archer for a near fall. Lance Archer hit Camarado with a rising knee strike on him before hitting the back, hitting the blackout for the pinfall. The winner of the match, Lance Archer. This was a decent match. Clark Con Connors was interviewed by Alex Marvez saying that he would become the become the arrogant and uh grow all Atlantic champion. Alright, so we get Shane so we get Shane, Swerve, Strickland, Keith Lee versus L Desperado and Yo and Yoshin Yoshin Nubu came came Morrow. Alright, I'ma say this was good. This is a good tattoo match. Lee and Kane Maru started the match with Lee's basking in the basking in the glory from the fans while Yoshi Yosh, Yosh, Yoshinubu Kane Maru covered his ears. Lee tried to get Kane Maru and and Greek Ro, and Greek Roman locked up but got to the rope. Kane Maru went for Lee's, Lee's knee, but Lee slams Camarado to the ground. Swerve tag in, but Camarado ran away and tag in Desperado. Desperado went for the um, brick, brick lock on Swerve, but Swerve got a top, got a, got a rope break. Um, Swerve sends Desperado. Um, Swerve went for a bit for a move, but that's Rado Slam Swerve into the apron before hitting a Brock, hit a Brock lock on Swerve outside the ring. Swerve got some offense on Desperado. Swerve went for a low dry kick, but but hit Lee instead on, on instead on Desperado.
Desperado, Desperado, and came Maru tag target Lee's left leg. Camarado got hit with a double chop on Camaro. Lee went for the spirit bomb on Camarado. Uh, come on, came Camaro, but Desperado hits a hit a low low drop kick on Lee, leading Camarado to hit a DT on Lee for near fall. Lee put pushed Desperado. Desperado to the other side of the ring before tagging in Swerve. Swerve hit hit a running uppercut on Desperado. Swerve rolled Desperado across the ring before hitting a brain wrestle on Desperado for an airfall. Desperado countered a move on Swerve for a pinfall attempt. Desperado hit a spine buster on Swerve for an airfall. Desperado hit a side slam. With a drop kick for Cam Camarillo for a near fall. Swerve and Desperado exchanged strikes before Swerve hit a hit a backbreaker on Desperado. Desperado hit a lariat on Swerve, but Swerve popped up and hit the STO on Desperado. Camarillo hit low drop kick on Lee before locking in a figure four lock, but Lee broke it the whole broke it the whole by tossing Desperado into Camarado. Camarado went for the for a sunset flip on Lee, but but Lee popped Camarado up for a spare bomb. Camarado escapes. Cam Maru spit with spit whiskey on Lee eyes before getting a roll up on Lee for a near fall. Swerve hit an, an assistant kick on Camarado before hitting a double stomp on Desperado. Lee hit Camaro with a fire fireman's carry power slam for the for the pinfall win. The winner of the match, Shane Swerve, Strickland, and Keith Lee. That was a good tag team match. All right, Ricky starts in Powerhouse Hall. Talk trash to Swerve and Keith Lee after the match, telling them that they cannot be best tag team if they haven't beaten Team Taz. All right, so we, let's move on. So we get Gun Club, Austin Gun, Colton Gun, and Billy Gun, and Mass Castro, accompanied by Anthony Bounds, versus versus the DKC, Kevin Knight, Alex Cartland, and Yuga Yimaru. All right, this was this this was a quick taxi match. Um. Before the match, Don Hawson cut a promo on the Gun Club, presenting with the presenting the presenting the with a gift. It was a song title. We're the you know what boys, which led to Colton and Austin Gun running out of the arena to chase down Don Hawson, exiting themselves out of the ring. So the LA do Dojo attacked Billy Gun and Mass Caster before caught. Cartman hit an overhead suplex on Billy Gunn. Cartman hit a Caroline Caroline suplex on Caster for a near fall. Knight hit a drop kick and body slam, body slam on Caster for a near fall. You mural, you more tag in, and he and Knight hit double back elbows on Caster and multiple. Moves on Caster for a near fall. Caster punch. Mass Caster punches everyone from the LA. Do do do. But he you more hit a running elbow strike bulldog combination on Caster for a near fall. D D K C hit a slap on Mass Caster before hitting a leaping back elbow on Mass Caster followed by a snap suplex for a near fall. Mass Caster slammed Knight and D DKC into each other. Gun tag in and went ramp rampant on everyone for the L from the LA Dujo. Gun hit the famous sir on D DKC with Mass Caster tag in hit the mic drop for the pinfall win. The winner of the match gun club, Austin Gun, Colton Gun, and Billy Gun, and Mass Caster come by Anthony Bounce. So we get the main show. Same I mean Chris Jericho, Sammy Guerrero, and Miro Suzuki accompanied by Tay Conti versus Eddie Kingston, Willow Yuta, and Shuta Yim Yim Neal. Alright, this was this was this was a good match. Good match. 
Um, Yuta and Jericho began the match. Exchange strikes before Yuta hit five German suplexes for their fall before transitioning into a crossface. Everyone got into the ring and started brawling inside, outside the ring. Guerrero hit, Guerrero hit a kick on Yuta. Uh, Abdomen, um, I mean, Yuta hit an arm drag on Guerrero, on Guerrero before Getty Kiss and Guerrero launches, launched a strike on Guerrero. Guerrero hit a drop kick on Yuta. Yuta hit a body slam, Santon, um, for a one count. Um, you Miro tag in, tag in, tag in and hit a low drop kick on Guerrero. Drew Jericho tag in and hit a chop on Yumo. Yumino. Yumino hit multiple strikes on Jericho before getting a rope break. Kingston tag in and share dagger at Jericho. Drew Jericho tagged Suzuki in before Suzuki and Kingston lock, lock eyes. Kingston and Suzuki exchange shots in the center of the ring to the delight to delight of the crowd. Kingston hit machine gun chop machine gun chop on Suzuki. But Suzuki hit a glare, glarely, G narrowly forearm strike on Kingston, dropping Kingston to go to the ground. Jericho and Suzuki stomp stomp down Kingston. Kingston fired chops on Jericho before chopping Guerrero out of the apron. Suzuki got Kingston in a armbar in the top rope before Jericho hit an arm arm breaker on Kingston. Jericho got Kingston in half an armbar half. Half arm bar before attacking in Suzuki. Suzuki kicked Yumo, Yu, Yumino, um, and Yuta off the apron before hitting a running kick on, on Kingston for a near fall. Suzuki hit a octopus lock on Kingston. Sammy Guerrero got an ambitional stretch on Yumino. Um, while Guerrero got Yuta in a crossface, but Kingston broke Suzuki's hole. Um, with a rope breaker, with a rope break. Suzuki hit a snapmare before Sam Guerrero went for a top rope move, but Kingston hit him within within a swallow suplex. When Yumino tag in and launches Jericho out of the ring, Yumino drops Jer drops Sam Guerrero before hitting a low uppercut. Um, on Guerrero, Suzuki and Yumino exchange strikes before Yumino hit a back elbow. Elbow and and a low drop kick on on Suzuki. Yumino hit a fisherman suplex on Guerrero for a near fall. Yumino hit a drop kick on Jericho before hitting him with a cannonball on Jericho. Sammy Guerrero hit shooting star press on Yumino, but Yuta got Guerrero on top on on the top. Eddie hit a top suicide on Guerrero. Yuta hit a cross. Yuta hit a cross body on Guerrero. On Guerrero for a near fall. Yuta got an on got a O'Connor roll for a near fall. Guerrero hit a Spanish fly on Yuta, but Kingston hit a Sado suplex on Guerrero. Eddie hit a dragon sleeper on Guerrero. Kingston hit a back fist on Suzuki. Jericho hit a German suplex on. German suplex and Sammy Guerrero hit a spring spring rope cutter on Yumino. Yumino tagged back in, but Jericho caught him with a cold breaker for a near fall. Yumino hit an avalanche power, bomb, power slam on Yumino for a near fall. Jericho went for the Lions up, but Kingston punched Jericho for Yumino to get a near fall. Yumino ran the ropes, but Guerrero hit. Yumino in the back. Yumino hit a tornado DT in a brain bust on Jericho for a near fall. Yumino got Jericho in a Boston crap. Guerrero hit super kick on Yumino. Suzuki hit a headbutt on Yumino. Suzuki hit a power driver on Kingston. Suzuki and Guerrero stomped down Yumino, but Yumino hit multiple, multiple strikes before. Jericho hit the Judas effect for the pinfall win. The winner of the match: Chris Jericho, Sammy Guerrero, and Mero Suzuki. The um, this was a good. That was a good tag team match.
So we get winner takes all IWGP and Ring of Honor World Tag Team title match. So we get FTR Cash Ritter and Dax Harwood versus Rapongi Vice, Chimberetta Rocky Rocky Romero versus Jeff Cobb and Greg Okan. Alright, this was this this match was good. Good match. The match began with Barretta, with Barretta and Dash lock up, uh, look locking up with Dash getting a side headlock on Barretta, Dax and Trent exchange side headlocks and head scissors before Cobb tagging. Jeff Cobb and Dash lock up with Cobb getting chopped by Dax. Cobb hit an overcut and running shoulder tackle on Cobb. Dax hit a shoulder tackle on on, on Rocky. Um, Cash hit a uppercut on Rocky. They did a toe roll, drop toe hole slash elbow drop on Rocky for a near fall. There was a awkward spot where Dax had his shoulder check out, leaving him out of the match. Momentarily, Rocky hit T T Juris T Juris on Cash. Okan hit the hit the Mogolin Mogolin chops on Romoto. Okan sat on Cash head for for before striking Cash back. Cobb hit a short arm Larry on on Cash. Cobb hit a Irish whip on Cash before hitting a spinning back suplex on Cobb. Okan hit a body slam on Cash. Cash hit a headbutt on Okan. Cash tag tag trade in. With Trent hitting a half German suplex on Khan, followed by a tornado DDT. Trent went for a DDT, tornado DDT on, on Cobb, but Cobb turned it into a super, suplex on Trent. Rocky hit a hurricane her on Cobb. O'Con iron claw slam Rocky on the apron. Rocky hit a diving knee on Cobb, while Trent hit a spear on O'Con. Rocky hit a drop kick on Okan, followed by a side the sliding kick from Trent for a near fall. Okan hit a back drop, back drop on Trent. Cash hit over cuss and chops on Cobb and Okan, but go but got hit with an elevated elbow drop on Okan. By Okan, Cobb and Okan beat up Cash before Dax storm through the ramp and make the tag. Dax hit punches and chops on Okan and Cobb before hitting three short arms and Larry's on Okan and, and, and three German suplex on Cobb. Cash and Cobb went to the top rope, joined by Trent. Trent and Dax hit a superplex on Cobb with Cash hitting a false smash on Cobb for a near fall. Dax and Trent exchanged strikes before punching Okan, Rocky tag in. With Rocky tagging with Cash and Rocky hitting a sister power drive on Okan. Trent and Rocky hit stereo rising knee strikes on Cobb. Cobb hit a power bomb on Trent. Okan clean, clean house before Cobb hit Sandy Musa on Rocky. Cobb and Okan hit a iron claw German suplex com combination on Trent. Before a near fall, Rocky hit a top suicide on Dax on Okan. Trent hit strong zero on Cobb, but Cash broke the pinfall attempt. Rocky got Dax with a Okan O'Connor roll for a near fall. Rocky hit a reverse insecurity on Dax, but FTR hit Rocky with the big rig for the pinfall. When we become becoming the new IWGP Tag Team Champions and retaining the ROA Tag Titles. So the winners of the IWGP and Ring of Honor Championship Ring of Honor Championships match FTR Cash Wheeler and Dax Harwood. That was a good match. So we get the um IWGP United States Championship Juice Robinson. And IWGP World Heavyweight Champion Jay White were interviewed backstage by Tony Shabbat with both saying that Bullet Club will remain standing tall in the in the night. So we get that in a in a in uh in a draw AEW All Atlantic Championship match. So we get Pack 
versus Miro versus Clark Sir, Clark Connors versus Malachi Black. Um, this now this match, this match was amazing, amazing match. Pie kick a haluba kick on Black close close line Black out of the ring. Connor hit a chop on Miro, but Miro hit a back back elbow on Connor for a near fall. Connor hit hit another chop on Miro, but Miro hit a body slam on Connors. Connors went for a crossbody before hitting a shoulder tackle on Miro. Connor went for another crossbody on Miro outside the ring, but Miro hit a body slam on Connor outside. Pack and Black brawl on the top row with Pack hitting a headbutt on Black. Um, Malachi Black. Pack went for a sunset bomb, but Black still on his feet. Black hit hit kicks on Miro, but Miro punches him to the ground. Black hit a spring rope moonsault on Miro. Black hit a knee strike on Connors before locking in a knee bar on Connors. Um, but Miro pulls pull Mer Connors out of the ring and breaks the hole. Pac went for a spinning spring rope crossbody, but Miro hit a fall away slam on Pac. Connors hit multiple strikes on Miro, but was hit with a U range by Miro for a near fall. Miro hit a Irish whip on Connors before hitting him. Hit him with a two lariats. Miro, Miro hit a gut wrench two plays on Connor for a near fall. Black and Miro stomp down pack. Miro and Black stare each other down to decide who would be up. Pack before a stage of blows. Miro hit an uppercut on Black. Miro hit a small drop on on Pac for a near fall. Miro went for a super kick, but Pac hit Miro with a super kick of his own. Pac hit Tom Tom Leo on Black out of the ring, followed by a shotgun drop kick on Miro. Pac hit a German suplex on Black, um, but Black hit a, a hit knee strike on Pac. Connor hit a German suplex on Black while Miro punching Connor Black. Connor's like it in a hit a big boot on Miro for a near fall. Black pulled a table from underneath the ring. Um Black and Miro tried to slam each other on the table, but Miro slammed Black into the stairs. Connor hit a spear on Miro into the tables. Connor and Black exchanged strikes before Connor hits Larry's and Power Slams on Black. Connor hit a spear and the trophy can trophy call on Black for a near fall. Connors went for another trophy call, but Pac hit a super kick on Connor. Pac went for the Black Arrow, but Black cut him off. Miro hit a Tower of Doom on everyone. With Miro sing, sl slinging out Pac, Miro hit a mule kick followed by the game over on, on Pac. But Black split and split. It split the black mist on Miro. Miro. Black got Connor in a arm bar, but Pac hit a 450 splash on Black. On black. Pac hit the brutalizer on Connor, winning the AEW all anti championship. Okay, by submission. The winner in your first ever. The winner in. First ever AEW Atlantic all. AEW all Atlantic champion. Pack. This was a good match. This was really good. Let's move on. So we get the Young Bucks. Yes, yeah, so we get the Young Bucks. Matt Jackson and Nick Jackson versus L. Fantasmo. I'm coming by Hikaleo versus Sting, Darby Allen, and Shingo Tagaji. Ta, All right. This was. This was pretty good for what it was. Sting hit a crossbody on entire Bullet Club before the match. Shingo and Phantasmo began the match, hitting a suplex on Phantasmo for for a near fall. Shingo 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 got a wrist lock on Phantasmo before he and Sting hit double shoulder tackles 
on Pentasmo. Stay hit a Centon on Pentasmo. Darby Allen tag in hit an arm drag on Pentasmo. The Yellow Bug stomp face, stomp face Buster before enter. Eliminating Shingo and Sting. The Young Bucks hit a neck breaker slash back breaker combination on Darby Allen. Fantasma, Fantasma attacks Sting and Shingo, but before hitting a back breaker, back, back breaker known as the Germans destroyer on Darby Allen. Matt Jackson hit hit a back breaker of his own on Darby Allen. Bullet Club hit a triple. Drop kick on Darby Allen. Darby Allen hit a German suplex on Fantasma on Fantasma who was the who was in the top rope. Here Galil took Sting out of the ring, out of David and Darby Allen hit a cold red on Fantasma. Shingo hit Shingo hit a body slam on Matt Jackson. Punch it, punch Nick Jackson. Shingo pushed Nick Jackson onto Matt before hitting Nick with a lariat. Shingo hit a twist, twist suplex on on Nick Jackson. Nick Jackson hit a cross school kick on Shingo. Shingo hit a Death Valley driver on Nick. Sting laid out everyone from Bullet Club. Fantasmo twisted the nipples of Sting, but got. Hit with a stinger splash. Stinger Sting hit a stinger splash on both on both bugs before attempting Scorpion death slot on Matt Phantasma. Phantasma hit Sting Sting in the in the nerd. The young bugs hit super kick on Sting, but Sting shook it off before hitting a double larry on both young bugs. On uh, Darby Allen tag game went. For the coffin drop, but Matt lifted Phantasmo. Phantasmo hit a frog splash on Darby Allen for near fall. The Young Bucks hit a d double toe suicide on Darby Allen and Shingo. Phantasmo hit a walk rope moonsault on everyone outside. Bullet Club hit Sting with a triple super kick. Sting hit a double scorpion death drop on, on the Young Bucks. Sting twisted. The nipples of Phantasmo followed by a low blow. Shingo hit boxing punches before hitting El Phantasmo with a larry for a near fall. Shingo hit last of the dragon for the pinfall. For the pinfall win. The winner of the match, Sting, Darby Allen, and Shingo, Tai K G. Tai K G. That was a good match. Pretty good match. That was that was pretty good. Jericho appreciates and society. Yeah, Jericho Appreciation Society hit Shota Yumino with a fireball backstage. So we get the AEW Women's World Championship match. Donna Rosa versus Tony Storm. Alright, this was I'm gonna say this was This was fine for what it was. This was fine. The match begins with the two locking up with Storm hitting the headlock scissors take down Rosa. Rosa and Storm exchange wrist locks before stirring themselves down. Rosa and Storm exchanging pinfall attempts before Rosa hit a sit down snap on Storm and old Dustin Rose. Storm Storm hit a big boot on Rosa. Rosa on Rosa followed by a snap suplex on Rosa. Storm went. For another suplex, where Rosa reverses it with a inside cradle for a near fall. Rosa in it and Storm exchange strikes, but Rosa st hit Storm with a stone cold stunner. Rosa hit a drop kick to Storm's spine, followed by a Northern Light suplex for a near fall. Rosa hit a Casadora on uh, Storm for a near fall before hitting a double stump on Storm for another near fall. Hit a forearm strike before it hit before being tossed by Storm out of the ring. Hitting the north northern lights two plants on Storm on, on the outside. Storm got to the rose but Rosa caught her and went for a death valor Valor drive, driver, but Storm reverses it and hit Rosa with a German suplex on Rosa on the on the apron. Storm hit a tornado DT on Rosa out of the ring. Storm hit a nasty hip attack followed by a by a tornado DT on Rosa for a near fall. Storm went for the Storm Zero, but Rosa hit a cold breaker for Storm's arm. Rosa hit the Death Valley driver on Storm, followed by the. Fire 
thunder drive before and near fall. Rolls are hit, multiple drop kit, multiple kits on Storm, but Storm is, escapes and hits German suplex on Rosa. Rosa tosses Storm into the arm, into the ground before hitting the final reckoning for the pinfall win. The winner of the match is still your AEW Women's World Champion, Thunder Rosa. This was fine. This match was fine for what it was. So we get the interim, interim IWGP United States Championship match: Orange Cassidy versus Real Osprey. Accompanied by Mark Davis and Kyle Fletcher. All right, this was this match was. I'm gonna say this match was. It was decent, decent match. Um, Osprey went for a drop kick, but Cassie evades. Cassie and Osprey evade each other's move before both did stare down. Cassie hit w, a double tear dress. T. Jidris on Osprey. Osprey tossed Cassidy into the top rope before hitting a big boot on, on Cassidy. Osprey, Osprey tossed Cassidy out of the ring before hitting a running drop kick on Cassidy into the barricade. Osprey slaps Cassidy before hitting a Irish whip on, on Cassidy. Osprey did sit up to taunt the crowd. Osprey hit a spinning back. Breaker on Cassidy before a near fall. Osprey hits hit each other with Irish woods on Cassidy before a before a near fall. Osprey got Cassidy with the ambition of stretch and flick off the crowd while while in the hole. Cassidy hit a hip toss on Osprey. Osprey slam Cassidy slam Osprey in the turn in the turnbuckles followed by a crossbody on Osprey. Osprey reversed Cassidy to Jerry's attempt with a face buster followed by a car wheel kick. Osprey hit a diving elbow on, a diving elbow strike on Cassidy for near fall. Osprey hit kicks to Cassidy's forehead. Cassidy hit a stun gun, I mean shotgun drop kick on Osprey. Osprey did a kick before hitting Osprey with with low volume forehead kicks on. On um Osprey, Cassie hit a super kick on Osprey before hitting the Kawa kick, Kawa kick on Osprey. Cassie reversed a suplex attempt, uh, suplex attempt with a stunner followed by a Wachoku driver for near fall. Cassie hit a moonsault to nail DT on Osprey followed by a top spot by a top suicide. Cassie hit a Merrill Posa. Dive on Ozzy open before hitting Osprey with a spike DDT on Osprey for a near fall. Osprey hit running Spanish fly on Cassie. Osprey hit Cassie with a cheeky, cheeky Nadal Nando's kick. Cassie slammed Osprey into the turnbuckle camera. Cassidy pretended to be slammed, but it did not work as Osprey hit a standing shooting star press for a near fall. Cassidy hit beach break on Cassidy. Cassidy hit beach break on Osprey for a near fall. Cassidy went for the orange punch, but Osprey hit two Oz cutters on Cassidy for a near fall. Osprey went for a hitting blade, but Cassidy evades. Cassidy hits a Frankenstein on Osprey for a near fall. Osprey hit hit the hitting blade on Cassidy for a near fall. But Osprey hit the storm break breaker for the pinfall win. Retain the IWGP United States Championship. Win it winners and still IWGP United States Champion Will Osprey. This match was good. The match. After the match, the United I'm sorry, after the match, the United Empire attack on Cassie at at the orders of Osprey. Trent Bronte and Ricky Morrow came down for the save. The United Empire took care of them from from out of nowhere. She Bata came to the ring and attacked all all the Empire all of the United Empire. She beat she beat her. Shibata and Osprey brawl before Shibata bait. Shibata hit a pump kick on Osprey. Kashiro Yuri and Shibata hit a a mop kick on Fletcher before hitting a leap leaping drop kick on Osprey. Shibata and got Osprey in a near 
near naked choke, but United Empire took him out of the ring. So we so Zack Saber Jr. was set to face uh to face the point of Dan of Brian of Brian Danielson choosing and it ended up being none other than Claudio Costa 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 Journal former known as Cesaro in WWE. As you can see the thumbnail like I mentioned earlier. You see the thumbnail. So we get Zach Saber Jr. versus Claudio Cas Cas Casa Gino. This match was amazing. Amazing match. Claudio hit a hit an overcut on Zach followed by a neutralizer for a thunderous near fall. Claudio hit a Irish Irish who on Zach Followed by another uppercut. Claudio went for another uppercut, but Zach evades. Sabre Jr. got a wrist lock on Claudio. Claudio hit another uppercut on Zach. Claudio hit a delayed vertical suplex on Zach. Zach got Claudio in a knee bar on the apron before the top, before the rope break. Claudio went for a gut wrench, but Zach target. Target Claudio arm. Zach got Claudio in a disarm, this this arm, this armor, this armor before sitting on Claudio's shoulder. Claudio hit a nasty uppercut on Zach before hitting a hitting a law miss Mr. Miss Tika on Claudio, followed by more joint man 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 for near fall. Zach went for a brutalizer transition transition into a headlock. Zach twisted Claudio ankle before stomping it. Zach Zach to Claudio in a wrist lock. Followed by followed by two of because Claudio hit two Uranus backbreakers on Zach, followed by two of because for a near fall. Claudio went for the UFO, but Zach Space space by getting Claudio in an arm bar in an arm bar. Claudio reverses the arm bar, tossing each other over the top rope. But Zach held to the submission. Claudio walked the stairs while having Zach on his shoulders before a power before before power bombing him into the inside of the ring. Claudio went for the Cesaro swing, but Zach reverses it with the guillotine choke. Claudio broke the guillotine choke by launching Zach into the turnbuckle. Zach got Claudio with an octopus lock on uh, lock on the top rope. Claudio rocked Zach with a uppercut on the top rope. Claudio hit an avalanche Car Caroline Caroline suplex on Zach. Claudio tried to get. The Cesaro swing, but Zach got to the road. Zach and Claudio exchanged uppercuts before Claudio hit a Gennari, genially uppercut for a near fall. Claudio finally got Zach in a Cesaro swing, but he cut the swing due to his injured arm. Claudio went for the sharpshooter, but Zach reverses it into a knee bar. Transitions, transitioning into a figure four lock. Claudio, Claudio reverses it. With a sharpshoot, but broke to the broke the hole with a double stomp on Zach for a near fall. Claudio hit two more uppercuts on Zach with a with Zach getting Claudio with a Pele kick to the arm. Zach got Claudio with the sleeper hole. Transitions into the modified armbar. Zach hit plenty of kicks on Claudio, but Claudio. Shook them, shook them off, but hit another uppercut and and a Larry on Zach for a near fall. Zach got Claudio in a European up uh, European clutch for a near fall. Claudio hit a pop up pop up uppercut for a near a pop up uppercut followed by a Larry. Claudio hit a power bomb on Zach for the pinfall win. The winner of the match, Claudio Casta Gino. This was a good match. Good match. So we get the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship match. So we get Jay White versus Hangman Adam Page versus Adam Cole versus Kazuchika Okada. This match was really good. This was really good. Yeah, this match was really good. 
The match begins with the four grapplers stare each other down, taunting to the crowd to get wow. While White rolled out of the ring, and Cole did the same. Okada and Paige shook hands, but Cole pulled Paige out of the ring. White, White attacked Okada from behind. Okada and Paige hit back elbow on White. White and Cole talked strategy, but Okada and Paige attacked them. All f the four brought out of the ring. Other ring before Paige hit the hit a top top suicide on Cole. J White hit a face bust on Okada onto the apron. White and Cole hit Paige with a delayed vertical suplex on the stage. Cole hit a neck breaker on Okada. White hit three knife edge on knife edge tops on Okada. Paige slammed White into the stairs. Okada wanted to hit for a tombstone on Cole. But White and Cole stomped down Okada. Um, Paige hit a spring, spring rope Larry on White before hitting it off, hitting a fall away slam on Cole. Paige hit a crossbody on White out of the ring before hitting a tow, tow rope Larry on Cole for near fall. Paige hit four chops on Ch Cole's chest. Paige went for a top rope moves up, but Cole caught him with a super kick in midair. Okada got back in the ring and hit his shots and Cole while and hit Cole and White before hitting a back elbow on Cole, face buster on White and leaping drop kick on Cole. Okada slammed White onto the barricade before hitting him with a with a big boot. Okada tossed Cole over the barricade. Okada hit a cross body on Cole and White over the barricade, landing the landing with the landing with the crowd. Okada got got the money clip on Cole, but White broke the hole before White hit Cole with a Sato suplex. Page went for a, lar a lariat, but White hit a flatliner. Got flatliner. Page got a jackknife cover for Cole. Broke the count. Cole and White embrace with embrace with the two sweet before hit a backstabber on White, followed by a knee bang, followed by a knee brain buster on White for a near fall. White hit Cole with a urange. Um White went for a sleeper <laughs> sleeper suplex, but Cole hit back with hit back elbows on White's head. White hit sleeper suplex on Cole. Okada and Paige hit Hit Cole with a boom, with the boom on White, but Okada hit him with a shotgun drop kick. Page hit a there on Okada. The four wrestlers exchanged strikes before, before Cole and White got the eyes of Okada and Page hit the big boot on Okada and elbow on and elbow strike on Cole and they pop up power bomb on White for a near fall. Page went went. Went for the buckshot Larry on White, but it but a but hit a moonsault on Okada and and Cole. Page punched Jito in the mouth. Page hit White with a delay and a buckshot Larry for it before Okada broke the pinfall attempt. Okada and Page exchanged strikes before Page hit a German suplex, followed by a disgust Larry on Okada. Um, Cole slammed Page onto the ring post before hitting Okada with a low kick. Okada hit a break breaker on Page, followed by a body slam on by some in, in a top rope. Elbow rope on Cole. Okada went for went for the rainmaker, but got hit with a super kick by Cole. Cole hit a super kick on Page and another super kick on Okada for a near fall. Okada went for the Rainmaker, but Cole hit an insecure kick and a super kick on Okada. Okada hit a drop kick on Cole. Cole followed, followed by a Machoku driver. Okada went for a Rainmaker on Cole, but White hit a Blade Runner on Okada. White pinned Cole for the pinfall. The winner is still your IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, Jay White. That was a good match. So we get the intern AEW World Heavyweight Championship match, John Moxley versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. This was the main event of the evening. Oh, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. This was the main event of the evening. All right, this match was... 
This match was fantastic. John Mossy and Tanahashi began the match with a lockup and changed the wrist locks before Mossy got Tana Tanahashi with a wrist lock. Tanahashi broke the hole and got Mossy in a side headlock before Mossy got a rope break. Tanahashi got another headlock on Mossy, but Mossy tossed Tanahashi into the corner, into the ring corner. Tanahashi hit a middle. Hit a middle rope crossbody on Moxley. Moxley and Tanahashi exchanged strikes before Tanahashi hit a low drop, a low hit two low drop kicks and a dragon screw on Moxley's left leg. Tanahashi targeted Moxley's left leg, getting Moxley in an Indian leg lock before Mox Moxley got a rope break. Masi hit Tanahashi with a cutter from out of nowhere. Masi and Tanahashi exchanged strikes again before Masi hit him with a clothesline. Masi got Tanahashi in the top row before hitting an avalanche on the hook suplex on Tanahashi. Masi hit a spike power drop on Tanahashi for a near fall. Masi started to kick Tanahashi's head in before getting Tanahashi in a, a clover leaf leg lock. While this was happening, two fans were escorted out of the arena for trying to fight the security guard. Tanahashi hit a somersault sent on Masi for a near fall. Masi tried to toss Tanahashi out of the ring, but Tanahashi pulled himself back into the ring. Moxley noticed that noticed that he noticed that he hit a close on on Tanahashi out of the ring. Masi hit a year range on Tanahashi in the in a in the timekeeper's timekeeper's table outside of the ring. Tanahashi beat the count out at number nine. John Masi hit multiple kicks to Tanahashi's chest, but Tanahashi got his legs. Tanahashi went for the went for a dragon screw, but Masi reverses it with the arm bar. Tanahashi kicked Mossley head and before hitting Mossley with a sling blade. Mossley hit busted Mossley's head Mossley was busted from the sling blade. Tanahashi hit a crossbody on Mossley onto the onto the outside of the ring. Back in the ring. Mossley went for a paragon shift but Tanahashi hit the twisted twisted short twice. Masi hit a German suplex on Tanahashi before hitting hitting Paragon ship on Tanahashi for near fall. Tanahashi hit the crossbody on Mox on Masi on Masi followed by the side followed by the side fall splash for near fall, which Masi transitions quickly into the bulldog bulldog choke trend bulldog choke. Tanahashi got up, but Masi hit a headbutt on Tanahashi. Tanahashi hit a jackknife. Cover, cover for a near fall with John with Masi transitions in, transitioning into a weird naked choke. Tanahashi hit headbutt on Masi, but Masi hit a lariat on Tanahashi. Tanahashi kick out at one with Masi hitting a series of elbow strikes on Tanahashi, followed by a sleeper hole transitioning into the bulldog choke. Tanahashi forgot. Fought, I'm sorry, Tanahashi fought through the hole, but he but he will. But was passed out. Rather, rather than hitting the paragon shift, John Masi hit the Death Rider on Tanahashi for the pinfall win, becoming the first ever two-time AEW World World Heavyweight Champion. So the winner and your new interim interim AEW World Heavyweight Champion, John Masi. This main event was fantastic. After the match, Tanahashi and Masi look like us. Moxley and Tanahashi exchanged, exchanged words before Chris Jericho and Daniel Garcia came to the ring to attack Tanahashi and Moxley. Kingston came to the aid of Masi with Yuta and, Pearl, and, Pearl and Powerful, Santana and Ortiz. Follow, following him up, Matt, Matt, Matt Maynard, Jake Hager, Sammy Guerrero, and Angelo Parker join proceedings and and proceedings and continue to continue to brawl. Collado, Claudio Cast Casta Gino came to the ring and hit a pop up overcut on Jericho and hits overcut on everyone on every member of the Jericho Appreciation Society. William Regal came to the ramp while Claudio got Angelo Park 
Parker and the Cesaro Swing, the Blackpool Combat Club, Eddie Kingston and Proud and Proud Pool Still Tall, Claudio and Kingston sharing sports before the end of the show. Moxley held the AEW Championship on the ring, on the ring and celebrate to end the broadcast. And AEW Forbidden Door goes off the air. But like I said earlier, AEW Forbidden AEW Forbidden Door was a good show, but it was too long at the same time. But anyway, if you guys enjoy my AEW Forbidden Door review and highlights, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what are your thoughts on AEW Forbidden Door. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, turn on the notifications, turn on notifications before I go go before I premiere a brand new video. Um, when I premiere a brand new video, I'll go live on YouTube. Follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram, my TikTok, and Twitch, and Discord down below in the description. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for my WWE month, for my WWE WWE Raw review and highlights. This your boy, B Boy Facts on TV. Have a great night. Stay safe and always stay positive. This your boy, B Boy Facts on TV. Capture crew, capture kings. Too sweet. We out of here, gang.